Not all anime movies are created equally. Some have an incredible amount of passion and talent put into them, whereas others are made to earn as much money as possible. Now, of course, this is the case for regular anime as well, but I think it's even more so for the movies. And we can kind of divide these movies into three categories. The first one being filler movies. These movies are typically created for the sole purpose of making money. At most times, you can tell because uh, they kind of suck. These types of movies aren't as normal anymore like they were back with the Dragon Ball movies, which some of them are actually pretty solid like Wrath of the Dragon or the Dragon Ball GT movie. Some of them had pretty good action as well that you could just turn your brain off and watch. Say what you want about the early Broly movies, but at least the action was on point. A lot of them also gave more screen time to characters that didn't get a lot of it like Future Trunks, which is always nice, especially after what they did with him in Dragon Ball Super. I can kind of look back at some of these in a nostalgic way and appreciate them. However, a lot of them were really really strange and most filler movies are typically pretty bad like the naruto movies i remember kind of liking a lot of these as a kid like the one where naruto goes to prison or when he goes back in time to meet minato and they do a family rasengan but after re-watching them now that i'm a bit older like Man, they're so bad. Luckily, they don't make these too much anymore, but there are still franchises that get the unfortunate fate of receiving a filler movie, like My Hero Academia. Now, these movies are canon and the author has confirmed it, but they are not written by him and 99% of what happens in them have no impact on the story, so they might as well be filler. And you could say that these are just harmless, fun movies that you can just sit down and enjoy. And yeah, it is true that there is some sort of enjoyment to be had from them, even if it's just from an animation standpoint, but I wouldn't say they're harmless. Because what's weird about these is that they look really good, like weirdly good, to the point where I'm like, man, why could we just have had this time and effort put into the show. Imagine how much better certain scenes would have looked. In terms of production value, the original story should always get priority over the spin-offs, because without the original, they wouldn't exist. Overall, I just feel like these movies cost more bad than good. Like, can you believe the reason Seven Deadly Sins lost their studio and went from this to this? What the hell? was because their shitty movie didn't perform well. Like, yeah, maybe you just shouldn't have made it in the first place. I'm very glad that these movies seem to be getting less and less common, although I'm not entirely sure how I feel about what it's being replaced by either. Canon movies. These are movies that directly adapt the source material. Basically, it's anime episodes made into a movie with a higher budget. These are getting more and more common, which probably has something to do with how much money they make versus how much money the filler movies make. Now, these are a bit of a mixed bag to me as well, to be honest. I think my biggest issue with them is that the arcs that are being adapted are not supposed to be movies. They're supposed to be chapters or episodes. This was, I think, the most apparent when watching the Demon Slayer movie. The pacing of it just felt really strange, and towards the end of the movie, I was like, Wait a second, I've been watching this movie for a minute now, I think it's about to end already. It kind of just ruined my experience with this part of the story, but I couldn't quite figure out why for a while. But the very strange part is that they just chopped up the movie and released them as episodes as a part of the second season. So from an audience perspective, what's the point in it being a movie in the first place? If you didn't know, it's been revealed that there will be three new Demon Slayer movies coming out back to back to back and I am very sad. I guess the animation will be really good, but like, I don't know man, Demon Slayer looks pretty damn good anyway. I don't think this difference is very crucial. Why can't these just like, be seasons? It also just sucks how long it takes for them to air outside of Japan. And even when they come to the US, the rest of the world still has to wait like a bit longer before they come to the cinemas. You really have to be avoiding spoilers like the plague. Now there is at least one exception to this pacing issue that I can remember, and that is the Jujutsu Kaisen movie. The movie is incredible and has really solid pacing. The way it's able to do this is because it adapts a one shot. It tells one story and that's it. I feel like I'm watching a normal movie with a beginning, middle, and end. Now there is a rare case where the movie actually got made first and is the source material, and that is of course the Dragon Ball Super movies. Now these movies are a bit of a mixed bag, but generally I'd say they're pretty good. Broly has some of the best action and animation I've ever seen, whereas Resurrection F I never want to watch again for the rest of my life. But these movies have a very specific issue that is exclusive to them. You see, before this, the anime and the manga were both the source material. They were very 
similar with some differences here and there and were both considered canon. But in 2017, the anime ended. It completely stopped receiving episodes and has not continued since, but the manga still kept going. So at this point, all the Dragon Ball Super fans are reading the manga to catch up. A couple of years later, two Dragon Ball Super movies come out, which puts the manga in a bit of a weird spot. After all, the anime and manga have been more or less the same before this, so does it adapt the movie? Well, it doesn't do that for Broly, but it spends a whole year retelling the superhero movie. And I just feel like, you know, this is kind of unnecessary. Like everyone has seen this movie, what's the point? This means a whole year break from the new Dragon Ball Super content. As a whole, I just feel like the movies we have gotten so far that are canon have so many downsides and barely any positives. Now, there is one type of anime movies I have not talked about yet, and that is original movies. These guys have no downsides, apart from the fact that, you know, I want more of them. There are so many good anime original movies that I love that I could watch over and over again so many times. Of course, there's a lot of bad ones too. In fact, a lot of them. But you know, at least I don't feel any sense of obligations to watch those bad movies because I'm invested in the franchise or something. Nah, if it has a low score, I'm not watching that shit. I mean, I guess this could kind of be the case if you start like standing a director and want to watch everything they make. I was really excited for the new Makoto Shinkai movie, for example, but after watching it, I thought it was just kind of okay. Maybe I just don't like movies with annoying cats. But I feel like this isn't an issue that happens too often. I think the face of these movies have kind of become romance movies. Like people usually think of movies like Your Name or Weathering With You, that movie with the deaf bitch, which is probably because they're honestly just really good. I Want To Eat Your Pancreas, ignore the name, is probably my favorite movie of all time. Good enough to change someone's life, I couldn't recommend it more. Your name totally lives up to the hype. It's just a really solid story with 10 out of 10 visuals. You gotta be a certified hater if you don't like this movie. And if you really like it, you can just watch it again. But you know, there's a bunch of other movies too. Just like normal anime, they have whatever you're interested in. They got action for days, and I mean good action. For some reason, I just feel like they don't get talked about enough, of course, apart from from the movies I mentioned before, but there's so much more to them than just romance. Really obscure movies too, that you just wouldn't hear about because, again, lack of popularity. At the end of the day, I just wish we could get less of these and more of these, but, uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm sure they're gonna keep making canon movies and more or less stop doing filler movies, which is both bad and good. Obviously, I've already mentioned the pros and cons of both, mostly cons, but I think I'd prefer it if they kept making filler movies instead. I mean, yeah, you might get worse animation for the actual anime or have a whole filler episode in the middle of the season dedicated to promote the movie in my hero's case, but I think I'd take a bit worse animation over bad pacing any day of the week. Now I've been complaining about Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia a lot in this video, so make sure to check out one of these videos if you want to see even more of that.